Welcome to our devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help. The Church dedicates the month of November for all holy souls in purgatory, and we remember in a very special way our loved ones that have gone before us. As today is a very special day, we have invited a very special priest all the way from America, Father Bryce Higginbotham. Father Bryce shares with us the importance of remembering and praying for our loved ones and to seek their intercession in turn. As we bring flowers, our prayers and candles to the cemetery to commemorate All Souls Day, we draw strength from God as we sing our opening hymn, Abide With Me. My dear wonderful friends in Christ, to commemorate this beautiful month of All Souls Day, because the entire month is dedicated to the souls, I stand here in this beautiful cemetery of St. Michael's to bring this devotion to you. Right behind me is a beautiful church of St. Michael's. So let's begin with all the souls praying for us also. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear wonderful friends in Christ, we are always grateful to God for the blessings we have received from Him through the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. We have chosen once again beautiful intentions that must be prayed for in our hearts during the week. Pray with us. Global Media and Information Literacy Week is an annual event observed from 24th to 31st October to raise awareness and celebrate the progress achieved towards media and information literacy for all. Media and information literacy encompasses various competencies that enable individuals and groups to navigate today's information and communications environment. It covers a large spectrum of knowledge, skills, attitudes and values to better search access, critically evaluate, 
use and contribute to information and media content. Heavenly Father, we are full of concern for the world of media and information that shapes our minds and hearts across the globe. We thank you for the gift of communication, for the wisdom you grant us through knowledge and education. Yet, we recognize that this same power is sometimes misused to deceive, mislead, and divide. Lord, we ask for your protection over all who consume, create, and share information. Guide them with your light of truth and love. May they resist the temptation to distort facts or sow division through falsehoods. Inspire honesty, integrity, and respect for human dignity in every post, message, and broadcast. For this we pray. Intercede for us, O loving Mother. The International Day of Care and Support is one of the many events founded by the UN for the purpose of bringing the world together in unity to celebrate and feature the most important common values. It's a new event founded just last year by the United Nations. It involves all of us to renew our commitment to support the right of care workers and caregivers as well as those for whom we care for. Loving Father, we thank you for the hands and hearts of caregivers, those whom we often take for granted. Forgive us when we overlook their sacrifices, seeing them merely as hired help and not as the compassionate souls they are. Bless their work with strength, patience and love. Fill them with your peace in moments of exhaustion and let them feel our gratitude for their tireless care. May we always recognize their dignity and treat them with the respect they deserve. For them we pray. Intercede for us, O loving Mother. All Saints' Day is a celebration of the communion of saints the unity of all the faithful, both in heaven and on earth. It reminds Catholics of their spiritual connection with those who have gone before them and the example of holy lives that inspire us to follow Christ more faithfully. Celebrating All Saints Day is a reminder of the universal call to holiness. By honouring all the saints, known and unknown, Catholics are encouraged to strive for holiness in their own lives following the example of those who have been faithful to God in every age and place. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the countless saints who have gone before us, living lives of faith and love. Today, we celebrate their example and their intersection. May their holy lives inspire us to grow closer to you, striving for holiness in our own journey. Grant us the grace to follow their footsteps with courage and perseverance, that we too may join them one day in your heavenly kingdom. For this we pray. Intercede for us, O loving Mother. All Souls Day is a day dedicated to praying for the souls of the faithful departed who are in purgatory, undergoing purification before entering heaven. Catholics believe that through prayer, especially the Mass, they can help these souls in their journey toward full communion with God. All Souls Day reinforces the belief in a communion of saints, which includes the church on earth, the faithful, the souls in purgatory, and the saints in heaven. It highlights the spiritual bond between the living and the dead, 
encouraging Catholics to pray for those who have passed away, just as the saints intercede for us. Merciful Father, we remember today all our loved ones who have gone before us. We lift up to you the souls of the faithful departed, asking for your mercy and peace. May they be purified of all sin and welcomed into the fullness of your eternal light. Grant them rest, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Together we turn to our Heavenly Father and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Here now are the letters to our Mother of Perpetual Help. We thank you for writing in and using our website. Thank you, dearest Mother, for healing my left fractured wrist. It's one year, one month over, and I thank God for His healing balm on me through your powerful intercession, your loving and grateful child. Thank you, dear mother, for answering my petition. My granddaughter has accepted the job in the international school and will be starting the job on 4th of November. Continue to help and guide her in her new job. Thank you, dear mother, from your loving child. Dear Mother Mary, I would like to ask Mother Mary's interventions to pray and intercede for my son-in-law. I sincerely ask Mother Mary to protect and guide him so that he will continue to do his best in this present job, to speak with humbleness, sensibility, intelligence, so that everything will run smoothly and satisfactory, so that others see him in a better light. Presently, he finds difficulty to interact with his boss, colleagues and subordinates, as most of them are trying to avoid him. Several times, the boss wanted to terminate him because of his silent treatment and temperamental moods. And it's difficult to get a job, especially when he is above 40 years old. And most jobs didn't last long and this present job is his seventh. As a matter of fact, he has dual personality, a problematic condition, bipolar, schizophrenic, OCD, complex syndrome, and highly strung tempers and outbursts. Dear Mother, please intercede that he may be able to provide for his family the basic necessities now and for the future. I remain your faithful daughter. Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, I pray that my eldest son will be successful in finding a life partner from your loving daughter. Dearest Mother, please assist me in my research career search so that I can also teach the subjects I look forward to. Thank you, your loving Catholic son. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, Please pray for my son and his wife for their safety and protection as they will be flying to New York in October and return to Singapore on 6th of November. Bless them with good health and also protect them from all forms of harm or accidents, especially from thugs, theft and unscrupulous people during their stay in New York. 
Thank you for your prayers, dear mother of perpetual help. Your ever grateful daughter. Special intentions to mother of perpetual help. Dear Mother Mary, I would like to pray and ask Mother Mary to intercede for my husband and family for good health, to help them in their financial difficulties and problems, to be able to settle all the existing and final payments for the new apartment, to be in a safe, smooth and secured condition, to pray for the new apartment keys to be handed ASAP before December 2024. To have good, caring, considerate, family-oriented and supportive neighbours. To pray for the present house to be sold immediately to the right cash buyer that is competent and reliable. Thank you, Mother Mary. I shall remain faithfully your daughter. Mother of Perpetual Help we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer. And you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me. Let me never lose my God. Amen. Let us share with Mary a prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her nothingness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. This is truly a beautiful day because the Global Praying Community gathers to pray for all souls and to honour our dearly departed. Sing with us on this day, O beautiful mother.
as we come to November, many of us come to the graveyard to repaint the graves, to scrape the old paint off, to bring flowers and to just bring our presence and our prayers. Today we're in Berg at St. Anne in, in the graveyard. And you know, I, I love praying in the graveyard. I love when I'm driving somewhere, especially in the country, just to stop, to walk through the graveyard, to look at the names and to say, Jesus, please bring these people into your kingdom. Jesus, please bring these people into heaven. And for all those people whose bodies are buried here, who are already in heaven, please pray for me. And the reason I do that, the reason I know that it's a good thing to stop by the graveyard, to pray for the dead, to bring the flowers and to paint the tombs and to offer all of that work to God as a prayer for the people whose bodies are buried here. The reason I know that that's a good thing is because, because of the Word of God. A long time ago, the enemies of God invaded God's land. And a family of people called the Maccabees gathered around them, faithful Jews, to defend God's land and to defend God's work. And in battle, many of them were killed. They were killed in battle. And the Bible says this. It says that the leaders, the Maccabees, began to pray for those who had died. Those, the Bible says, who had fallen asleep in godliness. The Bible says that to pray for those who had fallen asleep in godliness is a holy and pious thought. And in doing so, they made atonement for the dead that they might be delivered from their sin. Today is what we call All Souls Day. And today is a day where we as a church, where Christians throughout the world pray for the dead. At, at my church, we're gonna celebrate a mass for the dead in the evening where everybody can come because it is a holy and pious thing to pray for the dead. At churches throughout the world where there are graveyards like this, Father and all the people will come out and they will bless the graveyard to pray for the dead. People will pray, people will fast, because the Bible says that it is a holy and pious thought to offer sacrifice for the dead, that it makes atonement for their sins, that they might rejoice with God forever in heaven. And so today, let us celebrate All Souls Day well. Let us pray and let us fast. Let us go to our churches and go to our graveyards. Let us gather together with our communities that those who still need purification to go to heaven might reach heaven quickly. And let's ask who those who are already in heaven, those whom we celebrated yesterday on All Saints Day, let's ask them to pray for us because it is a good and pious thought to pray for the dead. Amen. Together in one faith, we turn to the Blessed Mother and pray the Memorare. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your sufferings. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. Amen.
Mary, from thy sacred image, with those eyes so sadly sweet, Mother of perpetual succor, see us kneeling at thy feet. given them bread from heaven. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. You live and reign forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. 
we come to the end of our devotion. I'm between two wonderful angels that look after this beautiful cemetery and the souls that are here. So we end once again. It's very sad to leave you, but join us in this inspiring hymn. I would love to see you and your friends and your family. Please subscribe. As I said, we want to reach 10,000 subscribers so that YouTube will recommend this devotion to anyone searching for Mary. We end. See all of you next week. May the angels be with you. Today is just a gentle reminder that we are all heading towards our eternal homeland in heaven. We have chosen an appropriate hymn for you by Bernadine from Penang, our eternal homeland. Come pray with us once again next week. God bless you. Every day there's something in the world that troubles us. The road is long and the river is wide. Every day we turn to God and Him we place our trust. With Mother Mary always by our side. We will run and not grow weary. We will walk and not be faint. We in Mary's hands journey on together to her eternal homeland Mother of Perpetual help we come to you today teach us how to be humble and free gentle, kind and tender help us say the words you say according to God's word let be done to me We will run and not grow weary We will walk and not be faint We will rise in beauty from ashes When we turn our eyes to Jesus Place our prayers in Mary's hands Journey on together to our return Song to our God.